Hi there, my name is Caroline Oliveira and I want to welcome you to our midweek message where we're going to be looking back at what happened last weekend and looking ahead to what's going to be happening this weekend. So as well as the bank holiday with its beautiful weather, hopefully you also tuned into our Sunday service where Rob Stevens was talking about the giving of the law in Exodus chapters 19 and 20. One of the things that Rob talked about was how God's desire was always to be in a close relationship with his people and that the giving of the law was so that they could enjoy that close relationship and so that they could continue to live in the freedom that God had won for them. Well, this Sunday, we're going to be looking at a completely different part of scripture. We're taking a detour away from Exodus to join back in with the church calendar where we celebrate Pentecost. We'll be looking at Acts chapter two, where the story tells us how Jesus had sent his spirit and it was poured out on his followers. And the followers went out in the power of the spirit to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. And interestingly, this is a similar story. It's a, a story of God wanting to be close to his people. We've seen that in Exodus. And then in John chapter 14, Jesus talks to his followers ahead of time, even before his death, and he promises the Holy Spirit. He says that he will not leave them as orphans, but he will be with them, and even that he'll be in them, the spirit of truth that will be given, the spirit of Christ given as a gift to help, to come alongside and to dwell within. And so this Sunday, as we celebrate Pentecost, we remember this first outpouring of the Spirit, the birthing of the church. But it's more than that, it's not just a remembering, it's also celebrating the life that we have now in the Spirit, of God being present to us and dwelling within us. And it's even more than that, it's us, an opportunity for us to call out to God for a fresh outpouring of His Holy Spirit. We need it now more than ever, don't we? We are living in difficult and even terrible times. We've heard this word unprecedented, unprecedented times that we're living in. And so what we need is an unprecedented pouring out of the Holy Spirit. We can see that there is a groaning of nature, that there is a longing for people to know God's presence. We need a touch of his spirit in the church to reinvigorate us, to bring us alive, to embolden us in our worship and in our witness. But also we long for people who don't yet know Jesus to come and know him, to come into that close relationship for themselves. And so one of the things we're doing at the moment between Ascension and Pentecost is joining in with this global prayer movement, Thy Kingdom Come. Hopefully this isn't the first time you've heard about this because we've been talking about it for a while. There's three things that we're asking you to do. The first is to be praying daily for five of your friends or relatives or neighbours that they might come to know Jesus. The second is that you use your unlimited exercise that you've been given to prayer walk and to bless your neighbourhoods. To be praying that the Spirit would be moving in those places and that God's Kingdom would come in those places. And the third is that we're gathering the church to pray together. Just as the believers were in the upper room praying, we gather together to pray because we believe that that is where God God is present to us when we gather in his name. And so we've already had two prayer meetings on Zoom and we're going to be having another immediately after the Sunday YouTube service. So do look out for the Zoom link which will be on the Friday email to direct you to that prayer meeting. So I invite you to join us this Sunday and to come with some expectation about what God might want to do, how he might want to speak to you, how he might want to bless you and refresh you by his spirit, how he might want to embolden you in your witness to the people who don't yet know him. So let's be praying towards that. And like I said, you might want to read Acts chapter two um, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. So it's 11 o'clock for our YouTube service after that followed by our Zoom prayer meeting. And then you might want to join us again or just for our six o'clock service, which is also on Zoom. Details for all of these will be in the Friday email. So do keep your eyes peeled and it will all be there. So bless you, enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you on Sunday.